<laughs> there we go we are in we started next time i will be more organized and probably have some kind of intro kind of vibe rather than just a countdown thingy i'm just making sure that the stream is live and all okay on the uh, on the internet and it is job is indeed a good one. so i hope you're all well um i know there's only a couple of you watching live and thank you so much for that this is not like my other channel this is uh, all about stuff that you have in your studio if you are a YouTuber or a, a creative of some kind, or just like the idea of having something funky to play with, such as what we're going to be looking at tonight, which is the uh, the Epo Maker GK69. No, 96. It's not off to a good start. The 96S. And this is the left-handed version, even though I'm not left-handed. Um, and I will explain why when we get into it. Now then, I haven't unboxed it. Uh, all has happened so far is it arrived, and I just took off this to make sure it was uh, it was what it was. Uh, and the box looks about right, but uh, we're going to be seeing all of this today for the first time together. So I'm awfully excited about that. So thank you so much for joining. If you do like what you see, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And uh, it's a little bit infrequent at the minute. I've got a couple of videos up, one explaining why mechanical keyboards. So if you've not seen that, please do go ahead and check that one out. Um, and hopefully that may answer a few questions if you're new to the mechanical keyboard sort of scene. I'm certainly no professional with it. However, it is something that certainly does interest me and uh, and hopefully we'll learn a little bit more as we go along over the course of the coming months slash years. So there we go. That's where we're at. Now then. I hope we are all good and gravy. If someone can let me know if uh, if it's all, if you can hear me okay and uh, and all that sort of good stuff, that would be splendid. Uh, I think. Let me just check. I think is it is it maxing it? No. Ah, you can stream in, in 1080. That's good. That's what we're hoping for. So yeah, I hope everything is working and uh, it certainly looks that way. So shall we get started with what we're looking at today? So as I said, this is the GK60, uh, no, <laughs> GK96S. And uh, and the reason I've got this is primarily because I'm really, really excited about using um, Blender at the moment. And if you are on my uh, if you are on my uh, Instagram, then you'll see a few of my uh, Blender posts that I put up over Christmas. Now, there's not been a great deal going on on this channel for quite some time. However, that does uh, I anticipate that changing quite significantly moving forward. Um, and so you will see a lot more stuff, everything from um, from keyboards to lights to uh, to, to general stuff, to cameras, lenses, all that sort of nonsense. And where I can, I do try to do things on a budget or at least reasonably financially conscious, you know. So um, so it's unlikely you're going to be seeing any of the kind of mega special, super expensive gear coming out of this channel. But uh, but you never know. If it's something that's uh, particularly spectacular, it might happen. So this is what we've got. Let's get this on the desk, hit the microphone on the way up. And uh, and also I'll show you what I'm using at the moment. This is something that um, I've meant to do a video on um, before now. And this is the Iconix F60. There is a link to this in the description. Can I show pop a picture in picture in there as well? Just so we can see what I'm on about. There we go, look, woof. A10 mini's marvelous. So yeah. Um, what we're looking at here is the uh, the Iconix F60, a solid uh, metal chassis uh, in a similar kind of way to the um, the the what's the super popular keyboard um, that uh, has this kind of frame. Can't remember the name of it. Loads of Mac users use them anyway. But this, instead of having um, metal pieces going over a plastic body, this is a fully aluminium chassis, and uh, and I really really do like it. It's uh, this company actually sponsored a video on my other channel, um, which is why I have it. But I'm very very pleased that I have because it's a it's a brilliant little sixty percent keyboard. Very, uh, very uh, cost friendly as well. And it's hot swappable, full RGB, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so if that's the sort of thing that tickles your taste buds, there is certainly a link down below as well. Um, I have got uh, a cable here used by the company who's uh, who I've got a video for on this channel as well. So if you do want to go and check that out, please feel free. We may be using this cable a little bit later today. So this is what we've got. We've got the Skyloom box. Uh, are we a little but over, over uh, hot on the light. Was that okay? Hopefully that's okay. Um, 
so yeah, the Skyloon box. Now I have had, I think these guys do the A-Jazz stuff as well. And, the, and I got a cheapy A-Jazz keyboard um, ages ago, ages, like early last year when I, uh, when I thought of, wanted to try and get into uh, mechanical keyboards. And that was the first one that I ever had. So I am kind of aware of this kind of stuff, very similar sort of packaging. Um, but let's have a little look. So with the, with the boxings, this is an unboxing and a first impressions. Obviously, this isn't a long term review because we're looking at it together for the first time. Powered by something made in China. Um, and that's uh, powered by giant jig jig. I don't know what that says. Uh, can I get it? Can I get it? Kind of. Kind of. But um, yeah, it says something, powered by something made in China. So let's have a look and see if we can get into these boxes. Am I the only person that has a real issue getting into these boxes? I think I might be. Ah, didn't break it. So let's have a look at what we've got here, shall we? Now then, why have I gone for this kind of keyboard rather than the 60%? Basically, it's a very compact keyboard, and that's certainly something that I wanted. Um, the compact for being a full-size keyboard at the very least. Now then, but also on this, the, you'll notice that it's the left-handed or, or the southpaw version. And the reason I've got that, once again, I'm using this a lot for Blender, and Blender is a, a 3D uh, rendering piece of software, and that uses a lot of keyboard commands. There's a lot of things where you need a numpad or you need a full keyboard to be able to do that and so I wanted something that had everything I needed keys wise but still wasn't too massive and so that's why I've gone for this particular one but when it comes to the left hand um, uh, numpad it, that is because I can have the mouse in the right hand and the numpad with my left hand wiggling away doing what's necessary and that just makes sense to me because it's one of those things um, oops, that's the uh, wrong button there, Dean. Um, it's one of those things that if you are if you're working and doing this, it's better than doing that and then going for your mouse and that and then that. So you know, from a from a uh, um, uh, a standpoint of sort of efficiency, that that just makes sense to me. I've never used a left-handed keyboard before, but we will have to see how we get on with that one. Now then, when it comes to what else is in the box, this is going to be just a normal manual to tell us all about it. You will see that this is a, uh, a Bluetooth as well. 96% um, series, RGB, USB wired, USB Bluetooth 2. Um, so we've got Bluetooth action going on uh, as well as the RGB. Now I believe this is also hot swappable as well, which we'll, uh, we'll check out as well. And I also believe that there is software for this, which we can uh, customize things with if we uh, if we want to. Now I'm not going to customize software and what have you tonight uh, purely because I'll leave that for the actual full review when I do get around to doing that one. But uh, yeah we've got a fair whack of information going on on here and I know that these do come with both the white frames and black frames. I think you can get a full white keycap situation and a full black keycap situation as well but we'll have a little look at available options in a little while. Let's have a little look at the keyboard though, first and foremost. <clears throat> Get this puppy out. There's a little bit of heft to it. There is a little bit of heft to it. It's not, whoop, that's the wrong way. Um, it's not super light, but it's lighter than uh, than I imagined. So we'll have a little look at that. I think this does have a, uh, a plastic frame to it rather than uh, uh, anything else. We'll get all of the extras out. We'll have a look and see what these are in a moment. Right, let's get rid of this box. Now then, when it comes to the keyboard size, let's get this out of the uh, out of the packaging so we can have a proper look at what we've got going on here. Sorry about the uh, the shine. I need to uh, need to sort that out. I'm actually getting a different camera this week for my top down view, so hopefully that will uh, will help. As viewers of my other channel will know, I am. Pretty horrific when it comes to uh, um, this, uh, the live streaming luck. <laughs> okay, so this is it size wise. Now, when you compare it to a 60%, you know, it is doing exactly what you would suggest. If I put the keys underneath the keyboard, um, over underneath where they should be on the 60%, then, uh, then yeah, I mean, it is, it is that same kind of com compressed, compact form factor, just with more keys. And we've also got the F row on top as well. 
So let's have a little zoom in and we can have a little look and see what we've got going on here. Um, we've got, obviously, I'm assuming the FNX could be a function key. Um, just having a little go here. I think I picked the, uh, the Jade switches, was it? Let me just double check which switches I picked. I can't, can't really remember, to be honest with you. Um, but... Um, the uh, the reason I went for this, like I say, is because of Blender. But also, I mean, you, the price on this was very, very reasonable indeed. I think this came through with shipping or free shipping, whatever it was, at about 120 quid, I think, something along those lines, um, which, to be fair, is very, very good. Because, as I said, this should be hot swappable as well as full RGB and wireless as well. So because of that, that makes me very, very happy indeed. Now, I'm just double checking here uh, view your order so I can tell you exactly the one that I've got I mean we'll see when we take the switches apart anyway but uh, but there we go um, no we're not we've not got that information show order summary here we go um, Gatron mechanical green switches we've got going on in here PBT keycaps and the white case and that was 134 US dollars so it was even cheaper so rather than being the hundred and something quid it was I, th I think it came through to be about 90 quid something like that anyway let's have a little look um, what uh, what cap what, what uh, thingy are the caps that is a good question I think maybe DSA let me uh, let me see if I can find out for you. Uh, view your order. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I don't know the profile of the keycaps. I don't know. It, may, it rings a bell though. It does ring a bell. So there we go. There's the first of many questions I imagine um, I'm not going to be able to answer. But when it comes to whoop. When it comes to the pro, wrong way, Dean, wrong way, get it right. When it comes to the profile, that's what we're looking at there. Is that too bright? Take that down. So that's the uh, the profile. So we've got a slight curve going on there, but nothing massive. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right. Let's get that exposure back up again. Hopefully that's not too bright or too dark. And let me take a swig of drink and then away we go. I don't know if you like energy drinks, but this stuff, this Carabao, I'm not, hashtag not a sponsor, but it's really rather nice. Very cheap on, uh, on Amazon. Right, let's pop that there for the moment and see what we've got in the, uh, in the extras. Opening this puppy up. Do, do. So we've got some extra keycaps if we want them. Excellent. So why have we got these keycaps? Well, well, you will see if I zoom in. Da -da. You'll see that on here at the moment, we have got control. We've got alt option. We've got command with a little with squiggly squiggly wiggly thingy on the top and that's because I am a Mac user which I'm sure as time goes by people will be most unhappy with me for being and tell me that Windows is cheaper and better but um, ah, it's not DSA as they're all the same profile there we go um, so uh, yeah I'm a Mac user and these are the Mac control buttons and we've got down here we've got I get is the menu a Windows thing is that a Windows thing? Uh, but we've got Win there and we've got Alt there, which I imagine are both the uh, the Windows aspects. We've got a funky little coloured um, uh, escape key going on there, and we've got the uh, the that, that's the backscape backspace key there that looks like it's on uh, it's on backwards. Have I got beard hair slash dog hair on the keyboard already? Look at that. Look. If they put that on, that's lower than the other ones. That should be facing left, right? I'm sure it should. So we've got we've got uh, a blue version of that. So this one, yeah, this one's facing that. Oh, I don't know. Might be. I don't know. Right. So that's that. Now let's have a little look, and we've got the blue space bar as well. Don't know how I feel about the blue. Sort of. It's a kind of a 
not teal, but more of a turquoisey kind of blue, you know? Right, let's have a little look and see what else we've got in here. Uh, Mac is the best. Yes, I agree with you. And I'm rocking the, the, the new um, M1 Mac Mini at the moment as well, which excites me very, very much. So we've got a couple of spare switches going on here. Three pin. That's going to be too bright again, isn't it? I'll get these. Uh, hopefully the new camera will have a better dynamic range than this one. So we'll we'll get to see more of what's uh, what's going on. So, yeah, you can see there we've got a three pin action going on. Definitely feel a click in there. But it's a very subtle. It's it's not it's not um, it's not overly clicky and it's not um, it's not loud. If I pop this next to the microphone, you may be able to hear it, you may not. So I don't know if you heard any of that, but uh, yeah, we've got we can we've got a noticeable um, feeling of a click going on there, but uh, but not that much noise. Now then, what else do we have? We've got a uh, a keycap puller and switch puller. Not too horrific, I suppose. Although these do knacker up your. Uh, uh, actually, no. These ones, these ones are better for your keycaps than the sort of just the claspy ones, aren't they? Um, but uh, but yeah. So there we go. That's that. We've got a braided USB cable that is USB C. Too bloody dark now, aren't they? There we go. If anyone's got an A10 Mini and knows how to keep the picture-in-picture uh, picture on, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice sort of grey braided USB-C cable going on there. We've got another space bar. An orange space bar. So there we go. We've got, uh, we've got a few extras to be playing out there. We've got the white, the blue, or the orange. So that's, we've, that's what's happening there. Um, Gat Greens, that is a nice addition. The puller as well as the USB-C cable, absolutely. So yeah, we go. Now, I quite like the orange. Do I like the orange? A bit too much orange. I don't know. We'll figure that out and I'll uh, I'll let my uh, my uh, OCD kind of take control over that as we go on there. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this keyboard. Now this, I think this has got... I think I've got browns in my other keyboard. Yeah, there we go. This one's just got um, blues going on in here at the moment. Um, cherry. Now then, move my microphone upside down. So that was what this my, my normal keyboard sounds like. Let's see what this puppy sounds like. Okay, so did you hear the clicky clackiness of all of that kind of stuff? Because that, is it, there's quite a long travel on these switches. I'll tell you that for nothing. There is quite a long travel on it. And I don't think I like this profile keycap, but we'll come to that in a little while. Now then, one of the things that we have got on here as well is we do have some feet 
um, under on the underneath. And we've got two different areas or two different heights that we can do that. So let's have a little look and see how, if that makes things more or less comfortable. Let's go full on maximum monster height. That doesn't actually feel too bad. And then we'll go for the smaller one. To be honest with you, um, I actually like the feet up all the way. Now, I don't know whether that's going to be because of the uh, the profile of the, of the of the cats, but it feels quite high as well. It does feel quite high. Uh, yeah, I think it's the flatness of the uh, of the of the board compared to to what I'm used to with uh, with the uh, with the Iconix. Um, that's what where, where I've been going with the Iconix so far. And to be honest with you, that's uh, that profile has been has been fine with me. I've had no problems with that. But uh, but yeah, it's something that, as always, you're going to have to get used to doing something different if you want to change what you're doing. Um, so yeah, having those little feet out. Now, the one thing that I will say, there's not too much kind of, how have I got dog hair on this already? There's not too much kind of ringing or, or sort of the, there's a little bit if you sort of quickly smash it, see if you can hear this. So you get a little bit of a kind of a of a ring going on there, um, but not a huge amount, which I think is good. Um, there's no sort of unseemly rattles or anything like that. And I think this might be the switches, but I don't know how I feel about them quite yet. They're a bit, they feel a bit on the mushy side, you know? Does that make sense? I think that, and sorry about the bruise on my hand, by the way, that's it. That's having a having a, an energetic puppy for you. Um, yeah, so I, th I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the actual shape of the keycaps, we've got kind of quite the, uh, the, 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 the sculpting going along, or, or going around the cap itself. So the actual print over the top of it, or the, the square that you're going to hit, is, uh, is quite small. Um, but that's not, that's not too shocking. All right. So we've got Bluetooth and all sorts of stuff as well. But I think we should probably plug it in. Hopefully my cable will work just fine for this. This is where something goes horribly wrong and throws the stream out completely. Let me turn off um, turn off this light and then we will plug her in and see if we get a little light show, shall we? Where's the plug? It's there somewhere. I can feel you. I can feel it. Oh. Uh, right, I've got a put a keyboard thing in, uh, press key immediately to the right of the shift key on, what? To the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard. That one, and that one, done. Right, okay, so, not the brightest. Not the brightest, I think we can safely say on that one. Let's turn the lights right down. I mean, that's not, it's there, but it's not bright. It's certainly not um, overly bright. Um, let me take this light down and take that up. So we can see a little bit more of what's going on there. We haven't got any shine through on the, uh, on the keycaps by the look of it. I thought they might be. I've just seen something that's going to really annoy me. Remind me about the K. <laughs> um, but let's have a little look and see on the instructions if it tells us how to go through the different um, uh, light settings um, which I'm sure it does uh, 
function plus is backlight can modify. Okay. Uh, where's function key? Where's the function key? Oh, is that going to be the function key up here? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to confuse me. My function key has been down here for the longest time. So we are going through, got like a wave situation going on at the moment. Nope, that's the wrong button. Is this changing? I don't know if this is changing. Am I pressing the right buttons? This is so technical. <laughs> oh no, here it is, look, function, idiot. That makes more sense. Huh, okay. Ah, we got that thing where they get the uh, different lights for the different keys. Where is function? Uh, uh, where is it? That should be as bright as it goes, apparently. Huh. I'm sure with the software you may be able to change the place you turn. Yes, I agree. I agree. But backlight mode. Yeah, function. Plus the equals plus, which is that one there. Function equals. Is anything changing? <laughs> ah! Look at that. Oh! Well, that looks like it's sound related. Boo. Whoop. Boo. Yeah, I think that's sound related. Why do we have... Oh, is that because... Ah. That light there might be happening because it's charging. There's a little battery charge thingamajig going on right there. Um, but yeah. Uh, function. Function zero is also the pause play. I have no idea what that's doing. This is not the brightest. Oh. Oh. Now then, we are seeing... Ah, uh, no, no, that is moving. I was a little bit concerned that we might have certain RGB in certain areas, but no, it looks as though we are in the right spot. So is that a solid blue? That looks like a solid blue. I tend to like a solid white when I have got the lights going on. Um, there we've just got, it's just scrolling through colors. Like so. We've got a split thing happening now. Does anything go on when I do that? Nope. We've got a different wavy thing going on now. Look, Whoa, is it going up? It's going up really slowly. But we can, can sort the, the speed out with the function and the arrows, apparently. Left and right arrows. It's doing nothing. It doesn't make it super easy when you can't really see what you're doing. So that's off with the plus. Then that's... That's they shooting little uh, little things going out the side there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So brightness, not so much. It's not the brightest keyboard we've ever used before, but it is uh, it is certainly there. So you know, there's that. Um, okay. So let's get the lights back on again, shall we? Da, da, da. So as you can see, under kind of normal lighting now, yet comrade, can't see a damn thing. So yeah, that could be the RGB uh, lights on the keyboard. That could be because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and that could also be because uh, of, the, of the studio. But you know, we just turned the lights down and it still did not look great. Um, so there is that. Now then, Something that I should say is while the iQnix was something that uh, the company sent me, um, 
this is something that is not. When I got the M1 um, Mac Mini, uh, I needed a, I went, well, I didn't need a new keyboard at all. I'm lying blatantly to you. I wanted the keyboard for the Blender stuff that I mentioned earlier on. And I wanted to try this Southpaw idea because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. That if you've got the, the mouse in the right hand, it makes sense to do numbers in the left. So for that, I think this is going to be a really, really interesting experiment. So there we go. I don't know if there is a great deal else I can tell you, is there? If there's if there's something else, um, then uh, please do let me know. Otherwise, we will go and have a little look on the website straight away um, so we can see um, price and all that sort of nonsense. So... Let me just up the uh, thing there. If I was, a, I've got the, I've got the screen over there on that computer, but that doesn't help us. That, that, that's not useful to us at all. <laughs> um, right. So let's have a little look and see what we've got going on here. Look, look at that. Look, what? Bosh. So, EpoMaker GK96S, this is on EpoMaker.com, and uh, and away we go. So, if we have a little look at the, uh, is it going to give us the view more? There we go. Um, so, what we've got to play with, we've got PBT keycaps, black case, PBT keycaps, white case, um, black ABS or white ABS. Um, we've got the uh, the regular GK96, why am I pointing at the screen? You can't see that. And we've also got the... Uh, the Southpaw, which is the version that we're looking at tonight. That's going on. So well, let's click on that one. Gator on switches, Gator on um, uh, black, blue, brown, silver, yellow, red, white, and green. And uh, and where you go. So those are the options that you've got to play with there. Now, I'm sure when I ordered mine, there was some, there was another option when it came to the case or something like that. But uh, or there were some different switches available. I honestly can't remember. Um, we will double check on the uh, the hot swappable nature of it as well. Let's have a little look at the oh, that. That's it, is it? Um, dual or wired modes. Yeah, long lasting battery. The GK96S hub is one of the largest batteries to be featured in a Bluetooth mechanical keyboard at 4000 mAh. And that is a, a fair size, a fair size battery, uh, fully programmable. The non programmable standard model will be your solid backup in case you get lost in the codes and settings. Meanwhile, you can remap your program and program your keyboard according to your needs for faster and easier stuff. Um, so we'll download this at some point And then before I do the, uh, the actual full review there we go now then we've got down here yeah 119 dollars for what we've con uh, configured thus far don't know why we've got a little arrow there um we can have abs keycaps as well here we go here we go gatron switches and i think they do one did they do one with optical switches as well or just the gatrons i can't remember but there we go. So at the bottom there, if you wanted to uh, to see more options that might be instantly available, then uh, you've got that as a thing. So coming in at, like I said, in the UK, it was around about 90 quid. Now I ordered mine, um, I think around about the 17th of December. I think, and it turned up a couple of days ago. So it uh, it took a little while, but I did expect it to possibly take longer. Um, apparently, there are some people that have been waiting um, longer, according to one of the uh, Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, but you know, for that, I can't really tell you about it. Wait, maybe they had to, uh, they they had less demand for the left-handed versions, so it was quicker and easier to get out the door. Who knows? But uh, but that was certainly a thing. So there we go. That's it. We will be doing a uh, a proper full review on this moving forward. But um, what was I going to do? I was going to check about the Bluetooth at some point, but you know it's Bluetooth. So um, I imagine that's something that we can we can look at later on. There was definitely something else that I was going to check though. Um, the case itself is pretty solid. There's not really any flex in. There's a little bit of flex in there, but you've really kind of got to give it some welly. Um, but otherwise, it feels it feels good. It doesn't feel, and I think it might be because of these keycaps. Oh, the hot swap, weren't we? Um, it might be because of the keycaps, but I don't know how I feel about it with regards to kind of solid. If they do a, a metal case that you can buy as an extra i think that would be uh that would be fabulous 
but um, but no. I'm also just looking to see if there's an on or there isn't an on off button for Bluetooth or anything around the body or underneath. So I imagine imagine that's going to be something that is in the uh, in the 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 key selection situation. Um, but uh, let us just have a little look at the uh, at the switches just so we can be confident. Uh, it makes sense that it's not aluminium because of the Bluetooth. Absolutely. Although I believe some 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 companies will tend to um, uh, have plastic areas. So we took a switch out uh, or we took a, a keycap off earlier on. And then we saw that they're greens. So that's fine. Now, I think. Was I under the impression that it comes you can have a, sp a split space bar? I might have been. Hold on. Hold you on a second. Oh. Okay. Seeing as that switch came right out, um, we've got no uh, no question that they are hot swap. I mean, that's why we have the spares in there as well. Um, just having a little look. Don't really want to take this out, but we'll have a look and see if the stabilizers are lubed. Um, let's just get this in the right way. I am truly horrific about bending the legs of those contacts, generally. Um, right. Up you come. And up you come. Switches don't hold in the boards overly strongly. I'm going to say that for nothing. Hmm. Yeah. But. I then hold on. There's no, is there? Hang on. I'm an old man. I'm going to need to put the old specs on. I think there is lubrication in there. Oh. And the closest we can get. There we go. Yes, you can see that there is some lube just above there. So we have got some lubrication going on in there. The fact that you can remove this space bar area going on here, you've got one screw there and two on the other side, tells me that you can have a split space bar situation on here if you wanted to, maybe. I know this is certainly like this on the 60% I've got from these guys. So yeah, I think that that's probably the situation going on right there. Um, but something that um, I think we can probably see uh, in this part here, the legends. When it comes to the centralizing of the legends, look at where this B is. That B is not in the middle, neither is that V. That C isn't too bad, neither is the X. But those two, ironically, my other channel is called Vaping Biker, um, but those two are not, um, not too clever. And the one that uh, kind of threw me off was the K. Can you see that? That K is not in the middle at all. That's, uh, that's no, no. Um, so yeah, the legends are on there and there. I mean, the, the actual font that's used isn't too bad. I don't think it, I, I did think that they were gonna be shine through because it looked as though they were gonna be shine through. Um, however, that's not the, uh, not the case. Um, and the end. Yeah, the end is, isn't too clever either. I'm very excited about having these function buttons. What's going on here? Why why do these look two totally different things? Is it why? They look like two completely different switches. That's a different profile, isn't it? Huh. That is certainly different to that. And that is the same as that. Hmm. 
This one even looks just a just a hair, just a smooch whiter. I mean, it's all white. Um, it's my terrible color balance that makes it look less so. But uh, yeah, I hope you don't mind. And if this is super boring, I do apologize. But oh, here we go. Look, we've got Bluetooth one, two and three. So we can assign this to three different devices, which is handy. We've got the uh, the green, the, the battery charging thingy there to let us know what's going on there. Uh, we've got a hexagon or whatever that, that is. So that's handy. Um, that's going to tell us which functionality we can swap between. A lot of the F's all look okay, but that 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 should definitely be the other way around, shouldn't it? Or am I dreaming that? No, that shouldn't. Because that will have completely the wrong profile. Maybe it may maybe I'm being an idiot. It's been so long since I've actually seen <laughs> the backspace logo going on. I've got Zorro. Zorro's in the house. So that's always nice. Don't know what that's all about, but we've got it. Um, and so there we go. We've got the legends that look. There we go. Look, we've got these are all different as well. You just make sure that they're all pushed down. There's a bit of wobble going on in there. Quite a significant one, actually, if you press too hard. Um, but yeah, you can see very much between the five and the six there. There is quite a difference. It look, it's like that goes down, big down, and then a little bit down to the four. The three's up a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, you know, this is a 90 quid, $120 board. Um, so, you know, it, is it something that that level of, of print should really upset you about? You can change out the, the keycaps, obviously, to go with whatever you want. Um, but there is definitely, um, there is definitely some, some issues with that. Um, the numpad looks off again. What's going on with the two? That three is lower than the two, possibly lower than the one. Yeah, so the printing that we've got on this, not the best, to be fair. But once again, hot swappable. Um, hot swappable, 90, 90 quid slash $120. Um, a reasonably solid keyboard. We'll see how the Bluetooth goes. Um, we'll see how long the battery lasts and all that sort of stuff. Probably won't be having the light on when I'm using it via Bluetooth, uh, but it's a nice way of tidying up your desk if that's the sort of thing that uh, that makes you excited. Um, anybody got any questions? Oh, hang on, we've got, we've got stuff. What are you saying, Vogan here? Um, we've got, oh, you're all little. Let's make you bigger. It's for the prawn. <laughs> the Zorro one. What the prawn? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> but yes, is there any questions, uh, Vogan? Have you got any, uh, any anything there that uh, I can answer or try to at least? Um, when it comes to the, uh, the 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 software and what have you, I believe this will work with Max. Although, as you know, I've not tried it yet. I will uh, talk about that when we do the review, uh, particularly because I've got the um, the 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 Mac M1. Uh, there might be connectivity issues, although allegedly that has been fixed. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, Right, what have we got here? Two seconds. Whoop! Ah, we don't want none of that nonsense. Um, okay, if you want to have a uh, have a look, by the way, at my cable, um, this one is from Cable Lab, CableLab.co.uk. Um, as I mentioned, I have got a, uh, a a video talking about them elsewhere on the channel, so go ahead and check that one out if you so want to. Um, great cables, been using them for uh, for quite some time now, and uh, it's been uh, it's been a little beastie and very affordable, brilliant service as well. Uh, again, not sponsored. Um, to be honest, for a good keycap set, you'd spend more than 90 quid. Absolutely. 
absolutely. Um, so, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those things where there's my first impression with this board, because as I said, it can't be a, uh, a review because I've not had it long enough. Um, but my first impression of this board is that um, to make this board a 90 pounds or 120 dollar board what they've done is they've not cut corners but they've noticed where they can reduce costs and they've done that without interrupting the experience um too much you know and so um these are also things with the exception of the body but as uh, as vogan says it might be because it's uh, it's bluetooth um with the exception of the body um the actual plate is nice and solid. There's no movement going on in there. Uh, there looks as though there might be some dampening under there as well. Again, we'll check that out when we uh, do the proper review. But, um, you know, it, it feels reasonably solid. It feels reasonably okay in that way. It's not the weightiest keyboard in the world. Um, and the the only, the two, well, two and a half issues that I've got at this point um, are not deal breakers. They are. The, uh, the RGB isn't overly bright or doesn't appear to be at the moment, but really, who gives a crap about that? That's not important in the grand scheme thing. So that's the half. Um, what else have we got going on? The, um, the keycaps. So the keycaps, uh, not, not a favorite um, profile of mine. Uh, I, I will double check on what this profile is in time for the review, but I certainly am not a huge fan of it. Um, but that's something that you will be swapping out yourself. And then that will also take you on to the next issue, which is the legends themselves, which is the printing is not great. It's not great. It's not centralized and uh, and could be better. Um, but again, if you're going to be changing out the keycaps, that's not a thing. For that money, though, you do get hot swap. You do get 4,000 milliamp hour battery um, for Bluetooth. You do get a full size compact keyboard, um, full functionality and programmability. And so for the money involved in this, I mean, when you look on Amazon and look for like starter mechanical um, boards, you're looking at sort of around about 30 or 40 quid anyway. Um, this is far beyond that in my in my uh, humble opinion. Um, but uh, this also gives you the ability to grow. So something that's great if you are a, uh, a first time user or something where you want to um, kind of try different switches, you know, put some put some really, uh, really tactile switches in the numpad, for instance, or, or, or throw some different ones around and see what see what gets you uh, gets you rocking that sort of thing for 90 quid, I think is pretty damn good. Um, so again, not a perfect board, but the issues that I have with it are things that you can sort out yourself if you so want to, um, and predictive, pre predominantly, an early or a new user could do that. You can change out switches and keycaps super easily. Um, the fact that we've got some lubrication in the uh, in the wider um, two IU uh, keys, I think that's good in the stabilizers rather, um, and the, the I mean these keys. These switches rather that might be might be all right once I've got used to them, but it's going to have to wait and see how we get used to them. But I don't think I'm a fan of the profile. That's about it, though. I don't think there is anything else I can uh, I can tell you. Um, there we go. Uh, Vogan agrees and decent price for the board. Couldn't agree more with you there, buddy. Uh, so that's about it. I haven't got anything else I can say at the moment, but once I've been using this for a decent amount of time, I'm not going to rush a review out on this one. There's not that many people watch my channel anyway at the moment, in this moment in time, so it's not a huge problem. But um, I did want to get something out on the channel because I've not done so for ages. And uh, more to the point, I wanted to show you a keyboard that I'm quite excited to use and, uh, and that I think is going to help me a lot with some of the stuff that I'm doing. And I've got to do some more accounts and stuff as well. So I imagine it'll be helpful for the spreadsheet fillers among you as well. But that's about it. I haven't got anything else for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you found any value in this whatsoever, please do put a comment down below. And, uh, and if you wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. But otherwise, that's it. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, and I will see you very mm, soon-ish. <laughs> Let's go with that. Thank you very much. And I will uh, speak to you later. Bye bye.